tell me when he's going. Now. Okay, so here we are, um, the back blocks of reservoir, doing our test on a uh, soda can furnace, a solar heater to heat my house during winter. Uh, you can see the ambient temperature is 32 degrees Celsius, quite hot. Up close, Jill, really up close. What we're interested in today is to basically uh, get an idea of temperature rise. So what I'm looking for is we've got both um, both units, exactly the same dimensions of the box. I've got two different configurations of cans here. Uh, these cans are basically the air actually will run through the cans, come up the top, go out the outlet here, come down here. There's a fan actually installed there. It's a Cool Master 95 uh, CMF fan. It will come down here, go on the outlet here. Later on this outlet goes into this inlet. This uh, can is, this configuration is in my design. I've actually had two layers of cans here. If you sort of go around you actually see there's two layers of cans here. Uh, the top layer can will collect all the heat and the air will actually go in between both layers. There's a little manifold here. Down below there's a manifold and the air will go through the manifold up here and will come down here. Now, I've actually made this inline fan design. There's a fan actually in line here in this uh, tube. Here's the outlet for the, the electrical power for the fan will come through here. And I've got a control box that I've built. The control box has two outlets, RCA plugs. Uh, there's a battery in here. Uh, both, it's running off the same uh, power, 12 volts coming out. Here's a thermostat, uh, the mechanical thermostat. So both fans are exactly the same. They run off the same battery and they'll be running at the same rate. So it'll be a really good idea to get some data to see um, how these two models will actually compare. We might just do a bit of a uh, quick static test on this one here first. So I'll just put the thermometer into the top here. What is the reading at the moment? Well, it's reading 36, but I was holding it in my hand. So that's why it went up. So it'll take a while to heat up. Then it'll actually take a couple of minutes to heat up. But it should get quite hot there. But the real test of these units are, is how they perform under pressure. How they perform when you actually push a lot of air through them. It's fairly easy to get a box that'll produce a lot of heat. The question is, can you get a box that will transfer heat when you push air through them? There's, it's already now 45, 46, 47, and that'll really go up. It'll get, it'll get quite hot. I've actually got this unit here um, on a day similar to this, up to 75 degrees Celsius. But as I said, big deal, because the air's just sitting in a box. It's not doing anything. All right. So that's the... It's already come up here. It's already 58 degrees, 59 degrees Celsius, 60 degrees Celsius. It's climbing, climbing, climbing all the time. Less than a minute in less than a minute, so we are getting quite hot here. 65, and that'll, that'll climb. We might just come back. If I get you to stop that now, Jill, and we'll come back and we'll do an ambient temperature on the both of them. All right.